Modern rowing as a competitive sport can be traced back to the early 18th century, and research shows that since the early 19th century, boat velocity has increased by 25 to 30 percent. The World Rowing Federation, FISA, is the oldest international sports federation, and rowing has been on the Olympic programme since the introduction of the modern games in 1896. The race distance was standardised at 2,000 metres ahead of the 1912 Olympic Games in Stockholm, where the Great Britain rowing team's men's eight won gold in a time of 6 minutes, 15.7 seconds. 100 years later, at London 2012, Germany's men's eight won the gold medal in a time of 5 minutes, 48.75 seconds. This is nearly 27 seconds faster than the 1912 winning time and equates to a 7.2% improvement. So how can the boat become even faster? So I think the whole sport of rowing is, is beginning to cotton on to the fact that now that uh, materials have been improved and, and we've made a lot of steps on the last few decades, the new way to get better is by being more scientific, being trying to be a bit more intelligent with training. And that means monitoring things using data. Boat and oar design have changed over the years as new technology and materials have been developed, making the boat go faster. However, FISA rules of racing restrict the dimensions of the boat and the oars to help create a level playing field. Therefore, the most significant opportunity for the GB rowing team to make the marginal gains needed are in training and physiology. Using data in a, in a better way will be really useful for the GB rowing team. It's like everyone says, it's all about the marginal gains at the moment, trying to get those extra seconds. And by putting all the data in one place, it's been much easier to look at, much easier to see patterns, see where things can be improved. New tools for real-time measurement and feedback of boat kinematics and force patterns have opened up the data available for analysis. What's more, data analytics is being used to help the boat go faster and has resulted in new approaches to training of individual rowers and to the selection of rowers for different boat crews. So what we're looking to understand is as much as we can about the individual athlete, uh, the combination of athletes, the boat itself and, and the environment that it's in at any particular time. We're trying to remove gut feel and we're trying to um, provide by looking back on what's happened in the past, an indication of how to apply uh, what we've learned and what we know to the current situation. With so many contributing factors in any one race, it's impossible to predict the gold medal winning times in Rio. However, the trend is for winning boats to continue increasing in speed, so marginal gains through the use of data analytics is set to become a critical tool in the team's arsenal.